Can I have the rings, please? Yes, you can. <laughs> Ed and Christina. Let <laughs> 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 me just grab that from. Oh, wow. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Ed and Christina, the vows you speak today are inscribed forever in your hearts and minds. Let these wedding bands, when we retrieve one of them, <laughs> be a reminder of the love and commitment in your hearts at this moment, on this beautiful day. We're going to take a moment here. <laughs> By some miracle, it went in the crack. For all of you who don't know how Christina and Ed met, they actually met at an obstacle course race called the Warrior Dash. And uh, these races usually involve a lot of mud. They usually have some guy hosing you down like a lot of water. So pay attention to this part, guys, because this is really important. This is where Christina spotted Ed. And what happened was she saw the water bounce off of Ed's defined ass body <laughs> and fell in love instantly. So being a Stanford grad and all, and a lawyer, naturally, she's a little bit more assertive than the rest of us. So she didn't just give Ed her phone number, she gave her her driver's license as well. Pro tip, if you guys like someone and you're single, give them your driver's license, not just your phone number, all right guys? Christina and Ed each independently recall their very first date as a surprisingly natural and easy conversation. Even though Ed had arrived at that dinner feeling like he needed to be really on his toes with this incredibly credentialed professional woman, he was charmed by Christina's warmth, down-to-earth personality, and genuine humility. Christina, for her part, had arrived at the dinner still feeling a little embarrassed by the fact that their first date was preceded by a somewhat awkward exchange in which she indirectly and accidentally gave Ed her phone number on an envelope containing her driver's license. <laughs> I know I speak for many of Christina and Ed's friends when I say that it feels like this day has been a long time coming. Not because anyone was anxiously, anxiously awaiting a proposal, <laughs> but because Christina and Ed have fit together so naturally from the very beginning. As someone who's known them since the beginning of their relationship, um, it's been a pleasure seeing their relationship grow. And when she first came around, we instantly fell in love with her as well. Uh, she instantly became a part of our group. And as the years passed by in the relationship, uh, it was really evident that Christina was the direction in life that Ed really needed. <laughs> In the time that I've um, had to get to know Ed, know him, he's introduced me to the word hella <laughs> and convinced me that even a manly guy like Ed will squeal about how cute his dog is. <laughs> and despite being a genuinely fun person to be around, what stands out the most is his love for Christina. Ed is always thinking about Christina. And when he's not thinking about Christina, he's asking her to load the live video feed of Quinn at Doggy Daycare. Being Ed's brother, I've had the blessing to see this guy grow from a very young age to the man he is today. I'm so proud that he is my brother. I'm so proud. I'll tell you that right now. I am so proud. I cannot be around. And now, and now, it's even easier to show him off. Because look, we got it. We got his beautiful wife over here. Okay? Let me tell you, man. My mom could never be more happy. Christina, you're a big part of my life. And I think even if it was unspoken, we always knew we could accomplish our dreams with each other's support. You often say that I'm the reason you got into law school. But the truth is, 
I wouldn't be where I am today without you. I'm so lucky to have you as my friend. And tonight, I cannot, inspri cannot express how happy I am that you have found and married the love of your life. I always held the highest standards for my brother, but you know what, Ed? I don't even know if you deserve this girl. <laughs> <laughs> truly, truly. A couple years back, Eddie, Eddie told me, dude, I asked him, I was like, yo, Eddie, you know, is this, is, is this the one for you? And he, guess what? He, he looked me in the eye, he just said, she's the one. And you know, I, I was so happy because I, I looked in, I heard it in his voice, she really was the one. Welcome, uh, family and uh, friends, and uh, really, really appreciate uh, you guys coming down. Many of you have traveled hundreds, maybe thousands of miles uh, come to here in the beautiful uh, California. Really, really appreciate being here to um, celebrate the biggest day in our life, <laughs> probably your biggest day as well. So, um, um, you know, we're so blessed to have uh, such a close family and also um, friends, okay? So we really, really appreciate it. You know, this marriage is so special. And uh, I think just like any marriage, and uh, they bring two families together. Christina and Ed would first like to take a moment to recognize their families and in particular their parents who have steadfastly supported them individually and as a couple. They wish to honor their parents for instilling in them the values and ethics that put them on paths to be successful adults and for providing advice and guidance on everything from home buying and renovations to what it means to be a good husband or wife to your partner. I, I hope you just always remember to be so grateful for each other because I think a happy marriage is one of the greatest blessings you can have in life. And I really hope that will always be the case for you guys. Christine and Ed, if you guys can make it through planning a wedding while managing an intense home remodeling project, there's nothing you guys can't overcome as a team. And I really want to share one of the, my favorite quotes because I believe that it applies in every aspect of life, including love. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. <laughs> and I'm so glad that Christina had the courage to take a chance on Edward. <laughs> because he will not be as happy as he is now. So Christina, thank you so much for making Ed the happiest I've ever seen him. I wish you guys both a life full of happiness and I love you guys both so much. We wish both of you have a great life, healthy life, long life, <laughs> <laughs> and more importantly, stick together, help each other. Cheers! Christina's hand and repeat after me. I, Edward, choose you, Christina. I, Edward, choose you, Christina. In the presence of our friends and family. In the presence of our friends and family. To be my wife and partner from this day forward. 
be my wife and partner from this day forward. To love you tirelessly. To love you tirelessly. To be a comfort and safe haven in your life. To be a comfort and safe haven in your life. To uphold you with my strength. To uphold you with my strength. To never take you for granted. To never take you for granted. And to always give thanks. And to always give thanks. For your presence in my life. For your presence in my life. And to always give thanks for your presence in my life. In the five years since that first date, Christina and Ed have discovered more to appreciate about each other. When asked independently how the other person makes them feel, Christina and Ed each say, simply and unequivocally, loved. <laughs>